Okay, so we've got our clip and we've got our sequence, our timeline set up. Okay, and now we're going to drop a clip that we've marked in here um, onto our timeline. So I've got an in and out point that I've set there using INO. Okay, we'll just drop that straight onto our timeline and then we'll trim it down. Okay, so once we've trimmed it down um, here, okay, we can go to Window, Effect Controls. And this shows us um, the different video effects we might add. So we could add color correction. Um, we can change the, the panning of a clip um, if we wanted to do that in Premiere Pro. So we can pan things to the left and right in the audio um, channels and options. But what we're looking for is these motion options here. Okay. And so basically with one clip that we have here, we can change the scale. So we're going to change the scale to 50% and we're going to change the position um, of this. So it's 1920 by 1080. Um, so it's 480 um, here, means that it's centered across the left. Okay, and then to go down, it would be 1920 by 1080. So so it's 810. So Okay, and that just means that when we do it, it's not going to leave like a black seam if we do it pixel perfect like that. So it's important to get those those numbers right, and then we'll just reverse it when we do the the other ones. So now we can uh, duplicate this clip. Hold down the Alt key to do that, and then if we move these channels, so the audio and the the video to the next ones up, we can put those above and below so we don't want to overwrite that audio because we want to keep the different sounds because we can offset them right so uh, now we've got our audio down here which is good and we've got another clip which is the same size but in the same location um, and we just want to move that to a different uh, point in time so a different point in the the space of our program here I edit so now we want to we'll go up so this should be 270 I think Okay, so 1080 divided by 4 is 270, so it's 270 and 810 um, that way. And then if we do it again, okay, and then just pull those up and pull that down, okay, and pull that in. Then we're going the other way, so it's this clip at the top left, and now we're going from 480 there across, so it'd be 480 and I think it's 1440. That's about right. Okay, so now for this one at the bottom, we'll just be changing 480 to 1440 there and it will appear in the same spot. So I'll just hold down Alt, duplicate that. I can drag it up and when I drag it up above the top video timeline here, it will create a new video layer. So um, if you get beyond four, then uh, you'll be having some fun. Now, it's not letting me drag the audio down to there. Okay, it's dropped it all the way down there. Okay, so that's the A7, weirdly, because it's got some audio tracks here, is the one that's designated for uh, V4 because these have got some other options on them. So basically now, if we change this clip's position to 1440, it will drop across the right-hand side and we've got our split screen, okay? So if we take that and we just kind of offset these, zoom in a little bit more, a little bit. Okay, so now, Okay, and we could keep going around, right? So we could copy those and duplicate them and they'll fit in there like Tetris. And we'll keep going around. But then what we would be more interesting is if we kind of swap those out for different clips. So let's go a step back. So if we, I'm gonna keep those stacked as one kind of layer. So it's just like one big uh, sound and I'm going to go back to my original source clip. So if we take a new beat here,
Okay. Okay. So I'll drop that down to the end of the timeline. So I'm just going to press the down key on the timeline to come to the end of my sequence and then pop that on there. Zoom out a little. And so now that's going to be a full clip again. But if I go to one of these clips, okay, and right click and copy it, I can click on the next clip here and go to right click and paste attribute. <laughs> Base attributes, and I'm pasting the the motion attributes. Okay, so basically, it's going to copy all that scale and everything, and it's going to make it the same size. So now, if I swap these round, okay. okay. So now, give a bit of variation there. The beats are in the same spot on the timeline, like in the same video and audio one layer. There's the, the beat in there. So let's just uh, let's just cut these out for the moment so you can see what's happening because there's too much going on. So okay, so we've just put those different clips on the same timeline in the same space. Okay, so if we extend these out, actually I should have moved that first. You can get quite complicated quite quickly. Okay. Okay. So we got like different layers, different things happening. I think the the one problem with this is what I've got is that they're all uh, kind of almost the same looking. But if you had ones that were looked different in terms of color or movement, then you'd get a bit more uh, interest going on. But essentially, the the two key things are um, in the effect controls setting that position and scale precisely so pixel perfect um, and then also the ability to copy and paste the attributes from one clip on one layer to another clip on another layer